Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And a lot of people are asking me, what is new in 21H2? I don't see anything special. And of course, uh, that means that you might just notice it's a very small update compared to a lot of the feature updates in the past. Even um, the you know last few versions of Windows 10 cumulative updates for these uh, feature updates had a little more to offer than we have now. I think this is one of the smallest, if not the smallest update of all for Windows 10. So if you have moved your machine to Windows 10 21 H2, of course, first of all, for all of those asking me, I don't see it. Yeah, it's okay. It's not rolling out necessarily to everyone. I forced update in my machine to have it here so I can show you guys but uh, it was not showing up either here in uh, Windows updates. Now, um, once again, I want to uh, clarify that it's not because you're on 21H2 that you have new Microsoft Store. It's not necessarily rolling out yet to all of you. It is not dependent on a version of Windows 10. It is something that just rolls out and uh, everyone from version 2004 up to 21H2 can technically get it at some point. So uh, just check, you know, app updates regularly and you'll see that the new updated Microsoft Store will eventually be there. So what is new in the uh, Windows 10, the one you h 2 I guess the two biggest features, uh, one for the user itself, and it all depends on the technology you use, uh, first of all, is on the Wi-Fi connectivity. So on the Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, most of us are probably still on older routers and out older devices that do not actually use WPA3 yet. But with this release, Microsoft adds support for WPA3 encryption for Wi-Fi networks with H2E. What's that? Ash to element. Uh, why? Here's the thing. When researchers actually found a attack called Dragon Blood, what happened is they noticed that they could steal passwords and information via the... Uh, getting um, into basically the WPA3 workaround of, uh, of, of, you know, the encryption. There was a flaw that prevented people from being really secure. And so what happened is that they had to update this to try to make it uh, more secure. And they added the ash to element method, which is a different way of um, sending password elements and doing a, a uh, you know an encryption and authentication, if you want. So what happens is this is more secure, more efficient, and more robust to any type of attacks that could happen. But for that to be used, you need to have a very recent router that does have WPA3 available, and not just that, you need also a network Wi-Fi network adapter that also has a possibility of WPA3. And that is probably a very small amount of people. Uh, for most of us, it's probably not the case. But as you move on, if you have newer technologies, this is for some uh, possible. Now, the other thing that is probably what apparently is the number one uh, requested feature uh, for those that are developers and use a Windows subsystem for Linux if you're a Windows subsystem for Linux user, um, WSL2 is the latest version and should be what you are running on Windows 10. You will have now something called GPU compute. What's GPU compute? So when, and, and this is used by some a lot of software, by the way, even software you don't even know do it. Um, I have a couple of programs here that I noticed do this in Windows 10. So it enables when you're on the Windows subsystem for Linux. And if you have some application that is pretty intense, requires a lot of math calculations 
to run, you can actually use the power of your graphics adapter to uh, simply work in parallel with the CPU to make things even more efficient and faster. Uh, in many cases, the GPU is actually faster at some of the computational power than the CPU is. So with this feature, you are now able to actually accelerate and make things even faster by using the full power of your computer, basically, not just the CPU, but even the graphics processor, the GPU. Uh, this works with WSL2 installed, and you have to have Hyper-V. For the rest, it's really business um, and enterprise features. One has to do with Application Guard for uh, security, and the other one has to do with Windows Hello for business that supports passwordless deployment models, and that's pretty much what we have. So really nothing. For if you're a regular Windows user, you have absolutely nothing to see in here, nothing more. That's why it really isn't a problem if you don't see the 21H2 the build right now. Remember that after this build, 21H2, if you're here, you now are moving, we are now moving to a a uh, yearly cycle. Once again, each version of Windows is still 18 months of a service. So that means if you get 21H2 now, you have until mid-2023 to update to the next version of Windows, which will be 22H2. And of course, 22H2 will have the same uh, thing and you'll have up to mid 2024 for 23H2 and so on. What that means is that you have you'll be moving to each new version every year. Uh, you have no choice. You can't skip anymore. But you will have up to six months after the release of a new version of Windows 10 uh, feature update every year to uh, upgrade. Uh, basically, so you'll be force updated probably if you don't actually do it. Uh, but you'll have six months to test out before you decide you want to move on. Uh, so they're giving you a buffer zone. But when you look at 18 month cycle versus you know one version every year, that means you'll eventually be on every version every year. But um, you don't have to do it right away. So that's what you have, and I know that a lot of people with Windows 10 are probably saying, "Man, this is crappy." I uh, have all, there's only that new. I thought there would be more. Um, you know, I think we'll uh, in the future have to look at the possibility of new stuff coming out of the Microsoft Store. Um, I was showing in Windows 11 one of the things that was the new um, Windows Media Player. Well, the new Media Player is um, something that's rolling out on Windows 11. Will it ever come to Windows 10? That's not impossible, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I think if there are some interesting updates in the future, it will be more of that type of update. And for the annual update of Windows 10 now, because it's now an annual thing, um, I don't expect to have that much of new things also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.